my analysis of this is quite different. I think that the Duterte camp should be very should be wary of this because they, this may backfire. Because the president can still maintain a unity except that she, he will unite with a different kind of, of group. Alalahanin po natin ang unity, you unite with someone you disagree with, right? Mm. Uh, yun ang ibig sabihin ng unity. Uh, kapag mag-unite ka with like-minded people, <laughs> that's just, you know, being a gang. Uh, alam naman natin na ang narrative na pininta ng balita at ng diskurso na publiko sa mga Marcos sa Duterte, pareho lang silang pasista, pareho silang diktador, pareho silang strong arm. So, mag-unite. Well, they united, but the more meaningful unity will be when President Marcos will unite with people who used not to like him. And and that might be that if if the if the Marcos trajectory will follow that. Please take note ah, ang karamihan sa mga puwersa na dati ay galit sa kanya, galit din sa China. Pag mapapansin mo, even uh, former Chief Justice, uh, so, former Associate Justice uh, Antonio Carpio, uh, pinuri na si Pagmulong Marcos regarding his stance on China. Even Vice President Lenny Robredo, pinuri din si President Marcos ang sa China. So there is this narrative about China that unites, that might be the cleavage, that might realign pol- politics. And so that what would be the implication of that to the Dutertes? They will be painted as pro-China. They will be put, painted as uh, anti-democracy. While Marcos is now softening, you know, even Laila de Lima is making some good points about him. You know, sometimes the Makabayan block finds common ground with him. So that will be the real earth-shaking unity. When the former political opposition will be the one that will be uniting with President Marcos and then Duterte will now be the opposition. So this may backfire on them because this will paint them in the wall that they are the voices of conservatism, the voices of hardline, the voices of fascism. And please take note, they're going to really be on the wrong side of the China issue knowing you you know that Filipinos the, based on surveys yeah, do not trust event. China. Yeah. So, so so that that can easily backfire. That can easily backfire, and then to a point that I think what what the, what the Duterte should avoid is that the, this can be spinned in such a way that her departure from the cabinet will will not be painted as good riddance. 